We can't. There's no chance. I'm sorry. We've got Hoynes staying gonna, in New we're York. We're not going to win the nomination. I made myself believe it. You too, but you can't risk everything for this. You should go to La Palabra, make a strong statement against the driver's license bill. You should remember who your friends are, not some names on an index card, but the people you're going back to. And then you should take a bow. And you should step off the stage. You know, when I got out of the Marines, I hadn't been around in my old neighborhood in Houston in a few years. I had just gotten this job offer from the Pentagon, and it required a full FBI background check. After a few weeks, the investigators, they came up to me and they said, we can't give you the job. We've interviewed all your old friends and neighbors. And they can't confirm anything, not even your name. So I hop a plane, go back to the old block. I see my neighbors, 11 and 13 year old kids. They're, they're sitting on the stoop, same as always. And they see me coming, they start running towards me and then they're shouting, Theo Matt, Theo Matt, Uncle Matt, Theo Matt, the feds, they were here looking for you. We told them we never heard of you. <laughs> 11 and 13. You're not the only one who can read bad polls, Josh. I am running for president in that Texas primary. And those kids are gonna see me do that. And that's the only statement about my skin color I intend to make in this campaign. 